like right now did you get any backlash from uh, anybody in the government or from c any community because of you because of you being ex-muslim or have any views against islam is it that bad it, it, to be honest with you it really depends hmm. um it, it really depends like let's say for example a youtuber like marwa right or mimsy right. you know she gets um these horrible emails uh, you know that are quite violent yeah. um, and very aggressive um whereas me i i I mean, I've got a YouTube channel, but I haven't made a video in absolutely ages. I made one about Shamima Begum recently from my phone because I just had an opinion that I needed to give. Mm. But I'm not making regular content. So I think if I was making regular content now that dealt with Islam um, and, uh, you know, theology, I'd probably end up getting much more hostility, like death threats or so forth. I mean, I've never had a death threat. Um, and I, the way that I work, a lot of what I do... Because with Faith to Faithless, it looks at people from a whole range of backgrounds. Mm. Some, sometimes I think Faith to Faithless gets missed as an ex-Muslim organization because we cover all the different religious groups. Yes, yeah. So I think that gives yeah. it a little bit of a safety net. Secular Jihadists is an increasingly influential podcast with much of its growing audience in Muslim-majority countries advocating for atheists, secularists, and Enlightenment thinkers. We want to reach out to more people. If we reach 500 patrons, we will be able to translate our shows into Arabic, Urdu, Persian, Bengali, Malay, Turkish, and other languages in these countries. Help us get there at patreon.com slash sjme.